Hello, welcome. My name is Yazil, and in our today's night shift, we work on saving this UMA. Especially, that means we work on the player plugin. Um, don't panic on this picture. Um, I wrote a little on this one and uh, will be continue this one in a later point. So, for that, to split up our tutorial, I changed the video names uh, and the player plugin or the player builder was uh, the number, or is the number 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And someday we will continue with uh, 3, 5 for this one, and I explain this one. But with the status of uh, 3.4, you easily can do everything we uh, do now. For this one, uh, to have it the same way as I told you before, you need these Wanderer pack and uh, uh, maybe the body retexture re uh, and hair pack if you want to hair, uh, change the hair. Uh, basically it's the same we already did. Uh, I built a list on hairs and uh, uh, called it then. But uh, that's not important for for uh, the functions we want to do now and for that we just stop that and close that here we go on in a little bit on theory what we did in the part uh, 1 to 1 1.4 we made our uh, basically uh, server's client connection with Darkrift and with the network and the network receiver. And after that we um, started the login plugin uh, with the number 2.1 to 2.4. And uh, here you see a little overview. We had the login uh, script and the login manager script. And to do that's what we do at next is uh, rename our table we have here, table player to table account. And um, I have just to remember a uh, sentence here what I have to do there. It's uh, add email and other account info's name and stuff like that. Um, but now we want to work on our uh, player plugin. And we can see uh, here's the table player. That's why we needed to, or we need to um, rename the uh, login player table. <coughs> You don't need to do that. You can also call it table, whatever you like here. But I want to change that. We got an int, uh, which is the ID. It's the player ID, uh, the name of the player, um, the Uma avatar. In the moment, uh, we start with a high varchar here. We can reduce that later to uh, 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 several functions we implement later on. Then we got the level of the player. And we got uh, index, wisdom, strength, and luck. With I think we should mm, go for oops, go for uh, go for go for the end. And then we got the health and mana, which is an end also should be good enough. And since I want to implement uh, different uh, uh, damage types, um, we got pierce slash fire, water, earth, uh, air, and magic. And of course, we need the resists uh, we have naturally. And then we need the race of the character, which is in Vaja 20 or something. And for the rotation and the position, I'm not sure. I think we will go in, um, oops, 
we will go in a separate table here, so we make that in like player position, table player position or player whatever, I don't know yet. <clears throat> and on the Unity part we need a player c -sharp script and a player manager script. So that's what we want to uh, do in part 4. So, a uh, little overview of what's coming. Um, is here we already have our login plugin, we work on that. And that's a point, uh, game time, we need to know if it's day, night or something like that. Uh, we need an item database, of course. We need uh, a database where the player stores his stuff. So if he logs in and logs out, he knows uh, or we know what items he has. We need some kind of map, map, map function. Um, if you think about, we got something like here, many, many players. And... Uh, uh, our player here in the middle only needs to know what's in here, like 50 meters away, and doesn't, uh, um, he's not interested in what's going on here and here and here. So, basically, every player has his knowledge about what's going on in the next near to him like 50 meters or 100 meters or something like that. So then we need a mob database. So that's, I think, um, um, not too complicated. Uh, then we need a spawn plugin. So we uh, let mobs spawn if they dare die or something like that. And then we did a combination of Zeth and mob database, um, which is going for if the mob uh, um, so spawn plugin also. If the mob uh, da uh, dies, uh, what is the loot and stuff like that. And I think important is a crafting plugin. We see how far we get and uh, the quest plugin. So that's far, far away here. Um, first things first, let's start with um, changing the database name. And uh, for that, we go in our login plugin and go here for the table. Um, in the login plugin, you want to call it table account, or I want to call it, you name it whatever you want, or you'll just uh, stay with that name. And you have to remember, you have to change uh, the other one then. Um, select ID from table account also, and um, down here somewhere, um, insert into table account and select from table account on the uh, if the user already exists. So. Uh, then build it. Um, as you all know how to do that, build a plugin and copy it uh, after that into uh, the plugin folder of the server. Yes to all. Good. Then we have to open the workbench. And you go for your tables in your game and right click there. And um, where it is? Uh, I'm stupid. Alter table. There it is. You go for alter table. And you just change here the name of it and go on apply, apply. I do that just for apply, apply, 
finish and your table is now renamed. Let me change that back. Apply, apply, finished. It's on account. Good. So everything is working again. Now we just make a new DLL. <coughs> Sorry about that. And um, the new DLL easy going. Um, we have the uh, player plugin as namespace and use the class player plugin plugin. Plugin you only, only can use if you have using the Dark Rift as a namespace inside. Then you have these standard stuff which has to ha has to be in every plugin. So the name, the version, a command, um, I implemented the debug command already. And the author, it's uh, uh, Yaziel, of course, me. You can write your name if you want. Um, and uh, support email, uh, it's my email address. So we got the private bool uh, debug. I set it to start with to folds. And uh, I have the public player plugin and here is the next function we want to work on. It isn't installed so uh, the install our plugin function. And then we got the command, also the debug command which sets the debug to not debug which is if it's true it's got to false, if it's false it goes true. And we have the lock color which is a function here. So we set our function uh, or foreground color to the color we submit there and uh, write the text then and set the foreground color back to white. So then you have to uh, remember to set the references. So write add references and um, you go, you don't need the plugin. Uh, I have that in there. But uh, you need a transmission at the Darkrift DLL, which should be the server lib transmission on the server lib Darkrift. So that is all for preparing the plugin. We can see if it's working. We build a plugin. Should be working. Should be no error at all. So is to all save that and it succeeds succeeded by one build so then let's get started with the is installed function ah by the way if you wonder uh, when i hit save it automatically formats everything for me it's the plugin code made for uh, um, visual studio um, it's a free plugin um, I don't uh, just go to the uh, internet and Google for it. Um, you can install it and uh, it automatically formats everything. So for the installation, uh, we need uh, to start with. Let me copy something in. So there we are. Uh, first of all, we need a couple variables, which are the. Uh, variables for the player tag and uh, for the subjects, uh, in this case uh, save player uh, and load player. I call them player as save player and player as load player. Then we need to configure a reader, it's uh, just uh, uh, called it under settings and uh, we need the debug variable we already got. So for the installation, let me open that. For the installation, we check if it is installed. Then we install the subdirectory, and uh, that's a new directory, and so on and so on. You know that already. And um, after that, we start uh, the database connection and try to uh, create the database in our uh, MySQL database. So. 
we create a table, we call it the table player, and the we have an ID which will be the user ID from the login plugin table, and we also got the player name, the player race, uh, the Yuma data, which is still this 5000, but we will reduce that later on, and we got uh, the uh, stats of the character, which in our case is in wisdom, destiny, strength, and luck. Also, we got health and mana, and we got uh, the resistance, uh, pierce, slash, fire, air, earth, water, and magic. And then you have to add a new query parameter, which is of course zero, um, because we don't have any parameters in that. <clears throat> After that, we catch the database exception. If something happens, we uh, print it out. Um, I would uh, recommend to, uh, when you're programming, let the debug on true. So if you mistype something here, uh, you can easily follow the error. So that's for the install. Then we going for read the settings file. We also know that already. Just settings, new configurator, uh, configurator. Get the subdirectory, which is the plugin name, and there the settings file, and then read every line, which uh, has to buy the U shot, the U shot for the subjects, and also the bool for the uh, debug variable and uh, if something fails uh, darkrift server closes so then we add ourselves to the connection serve on server message so if the uh, the event happens we go on to the uh, uh, this uh, function and this function is real easy, you know that already also. Uh, we check the player, the data uh, dot tag for the player tag. And then we decide uh, what we're going to do with the uh, player subjects. And we got uh, two of them at the moment, which is player save and player load. And we just lock something to the console. So the last thing today is we build this plugin and save it uh, into the um, server. So build plugin. Go on your source code bin debug plugin. Copy it. Server. Oh, I got that already in there. So I delete that. Delete that. And uh, insert that uh, <clears throat> next is we start the server and you should get no errors here's the going for help and see if it's recognized okay it's the player plugging and ppt bug is also there and last thing is we go into our workbench and go to the uh, to our game and refresh and there we are with the table player and the columns id and everything we added there that will be all for today um next part we will work on uh, unity and uh, see if we can get this message out of uh, these functions. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. If you like it even more, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you want the uh, source code, uh, go onto my Patreon page. Uh, link is in the description below. And I hope you had fun. Uh, so, happy Nightshift! <laughs>